A vast and infinite universe has always held secrets beyond our wildest imagination. For centuries, humans have looked up at the night sky, wondering what's truly out there, questioning the very nature of reality and existence. And while modern science has made incredible strides in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, the deeper we look, the more questions seem to arise. Some of these questions are so profound, so challenging, that they threaten to upend even our most trusted scientific models. Recently, the most advanced space telescope ever constructed detected a phenomenon that defies all known logic, an occurrence so mysterious that it has stunned the global scientific community and reignited old debates about the origins, structure, and fate of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, represents the pinnacle of astronomical engineering. It is the successor to the legendary Hubble Telescope and is capable of peering deeper into space and further back in time, than any human-made device ever created. Equipped with incredibly sensitive infrared sensors and a vast, gold-coated mirror array, JWST has given humanity a new pair of eyes, allowing us to observe galaxies as they appeared over 13 billion years ago. Its findings are already transforming our understanding of the cosmos, but some of what it has uncovered challenges everything we thought we knew. According to respected astronomer Joel Rohnd and several collaborating researchers, recent data from JWST reveals something utterly unprecedented. The mysterious disappearance of approximately 900 trillion stars, vanishing entirely without a trace. These are not faint objects tucked away in distant corners of the sky. These are massive celestial bodies, vast collections of hydrogen and helium, millions of times larger than our own sun, that seem to have simply ceased to exist. And the most shocking part? There is no debris, no leftover energy signatures, no black hole traces, nothing. It's as though they were erased from existence altogether. This revelation, stemming from a telescope that cost over $10 billion and only recently became operational, could very well be one of the most important and puzzling discoveries in the history of astronomy. Never before have scientists observed such a large-scale disappearance on this cosmic level. It challenges not only our observational capabilities but the very framework of astrophysics. For a universe governed by predictable laws, such an event should be impossible. Yet here we are, staring into the dark and struggling to comprehend what we're seeing. James Webb's superior capabilities allow it to detect light at extremely long wavelengths, much farther into the infrared spectrum than Hubble ever could. This enables it to capture redshifted ultraviolet light emitted by galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang. These deep sky images reveal a tapestry of distant galaxies and ancient stars, long since extinguished, whose light has only just arrived after traveling billions of years through the vastness of space. Among these breathtaking observations lies the puzzle of the missing stars, a gap in the cosmic record that refuses to make sense. So where did they go? How could so many stars simply vanish? There are currently two main theories circulating among astronomers. The first is that the stars still exist, but we're no longer able to see them. Perhaps they've become too dim, hidden by interstellar dust, or have collapsed into black holes so quiet and isolated that they emit no detectable radiation. Some suggest that our instruments, advanced as they are, might still be missing something critical a form of dark matter interaction or an exotic phase of stellar evolution we have yet to uncover. But the second theory is even more unnerving. It proposes that we are witnessing a fundamental transformation in the universe, one where massive portions of it are becoming permanently unreachable or, worse, ceasing to exist in any meaningful way. This idea is rooted in our understanding of cosmic expansion and the role of dark energy, which appears to be accelerating the rate at which galaxies move apart. If this acceleration continues, it could eventually stretch space to such a degree that certain regions become entirely isolated, their light forever unable to reach us, effectively erasing them from the observable universe. Astronomers have known for nearly a century that the universe is expanding. Edwin Hubble's pioneering work showed that galaxies are moving away from us, and the further they are, the faster they recede. This phenomenon isn't caused by galaxies speeding through space, but rather by the space between them growing. It's as though the entire fabric of the universe is being pulled outward from all directions. 
Then, about two decades ago, scientists discovered that this expansion isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. This acceleration is attributed to a mysterious force called dark energy, which now appears to make up nearly 70% of the entire universe. The consequences of this are mind-boggling. As galaxies accelerate away from us, the light they emit stretches, increasing in wavelength, becoming redshifted to the point of invisibility. Some galaxies are moving away so fast that even light traveling at the cosmic speed limit will never be able to reach us from them again. They are slipping beyond our event horizon, into regions of space forever disconnected from our reality. According to calculations based on JWST data, we are rapidly approaching a state where most of the universe is forever lost to us. Consider this. Our observable universe spans about 46 billion light years in every direction. But due to the accelerated expansion, we are only able to access a tiny fraction of it, roughly 6% of all galaxies. The remaining 94% is receding faster than the speed of light relative to us, and thus, beyond our ability to ever reach or communicate with. Every second, an estimated 20,000 to 60,000 stars cross this unreachable boundary. Though the light they emitted in the past may still be on its way, any new light from them will never arrive. It's as if the universe is gradually being erased in real time. This ongoing disappearance raises deeply existential questions. If we are forever confined to a shrinking observational bubble, what does that mean for our future exploration of the universe? Will we one day look up at the sky and see only the stars within our local group of galaxies, with the rest of the cosmos faded into an empty void? Without a revolutionary breakthrough in propulsion, something faster than light, or a discovery that allows us to bend spacetime itself, humanity could be trapped in an ever-shrinking sliver of the cosmos. And the clock is ticking. If we ever hope to reach distant galaxies, to colonize new worlds beyond our Milky Way, or even to observe cosmic structures that now shape our understanding of time and space, the window is closing. Each moment that passes seals off more of the universe. Every lost star is a lost opportunity, a lost history, a lost future. Yet, even in this sobering realization, there is wonder. We live in a fleeting but extraordinary moment in cosmic history. A time when we can still see the vastness of space, still measure the echoes of the Big Bang, still dream of touching other galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, in its silent vigil at the edge of space, is giving us a final glimpse of the universe in its grandeur before it slips away. And so, as we stare into the deep sky and watch entire clusters vanish from view, we are reminded of how fragile and precious our cosmic vantage point truly is. The stars are calling. But for how much longer will we hear them? If you found this discovery as profound and haunting as we did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Space Loop. Together, we will continue to chase the light, no matter how far it runs.